morning and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Pastor Tiffany and I'm so glad you're joining us for this time of worship just for kids and their families. We are going to get started with some singing and dancing together. So go ahead and stand up and sing and dance along with us. gather here to give you thanks for all the good things you have done we set our gaze on your grace your love so constant love so strong everything good is from you father so Faithful and true to listen to a Bible story. So you need to put on your listening ears and let's watch and listen to this story from the Bible. God's story, the prophets. So part of God's story is about the prophets and it goes like this. Prophets are people who hear from God and share it. We sometimes think of prophets as people who know the future, but really they know whatever God tells them, which could be anything because God knows everything. Anyway, Nowadays, God speaks to all of us. But before Jesus came and before there was the Bible, God spoke to his family through just a few people. Some of those people were prophets. 16 of God's prophets have books in the Bible named after them. And today, we are talking about them. It starts with Isaiah and ends with Malachi. These guys are a pretty big part of the Old Testament. So let's check out what God said to his family through them. 
This won't take long because even though they lived in different places and hundreds of years apart, they had basically the same message because people have always had the same problem. We disobey God. So the prophets told God's family, you've sinned, now you're in trouble. Of course, the prophets didn't just say this. They got God's family's attention by doing crazy things to show how bad life can get when we're far from God. Like Isaiah, who walked around in his underwear for three years to show what it looks like to lose everything. Or Jeremiah, who hid his belt under a rock until it rotted, then dug it up again so God's family could see what it looks like to be completely destroyed. Seriously, kids, that's in the Bible. And actually, it gets even crazier. Check it out for yourself. See, God is holy, which means he's perfect. He created us to be like him and follow him. But instead, we choose to disobey him, which is sin. Sin has to be punished because if God is perfect, he can't pretend it doesn't matter when we hurt each other or ourselves or his creatures or the earth. The thing is though, God loves us anyway. He doesn't want his family to be in trouble. So he sent good news through the prophets too. They said, if you stop sinning and follow God instead, he'll have mercy on you. Mercy means not getting punished, even though you deserve it. Problem is, nobody could stop sinning for very long. Well, God had a plan for that too. He told some of the prophets, like Isaiah and Zechariah, that one day he would send someone perfect to earth someone who could take the punishment for everybody else's sin. And if our sin was paid for, that would mean we weren't in trouble anymore, which means we could come close to God. If 16 different prophets over hundreds of years all said pretty much the same thing, it must be important, right? Even now, for us. After all, we've sinned too, and we need a rescuer. And since the rescuer already came, we can follow God and choose to accept that Jesus took our punishment, which means it doesn't separate us from God anymore. And we can talk to God, but also hear from Him, which means we can prophesy too. And that's the story of the prophets. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Prophets hear from God and share it. God told a whole bunch of them the same thing. Sin separates people from God. Stop sinning and obey. But God's family couldn't stop sinning. So God promised a rescuer. Hundreds of years later, the rescuer came. And now we can be close to God. We can hear from him and we can share it. And that's a part of God's story. Today's Bible story wasn't just one story. It was about all the prophets that we can read about in the Bible. And the prophets did some really incredible things. But the most important thing for us to remember is that their message, all 16 of the prophets, their message was the same. Their message was reminding us how much God loves us and telling us that we need to share God's love with our words and actions, that we need to be making good choices and following in God's ways, right? And so the prophets tell us this over and over again, that we need to turn away from making wrong choices, that we need to make right choices, and we need to follow in God's ways. Throughout all that time, that was the message that God gave us. So I think it's a pretty important message for us, right? And the prophets even told us about Jesus. They told us that God's son Jesus was going to come into the world. And hundreds of years later, he did. So we also know that God had a plan to help us connect with God and be part of God's family so long ago through Jesus. Now, if we're thinking about how we can be kind and we can share God's love with others, it's all about how we treat one another, right? So we need to be helpful to our friends, to our teachers, to our parents. We need to be kind to one another and we can also share what we have. So this is the time of year when a lot of us are celebrating with friends and family, right? Many of us celebrated Thanksgiving last week 
And as we get in closer and closer to Christmas, there's a lot of people right here in our community or in your community, wherever you live, who need help, who might not be able to afford their own Christmas dinner or even toys and gifts for their family. But we can help. We can give from what we have. We can buy extra food at the store when we go. We can buy extra toys to help out other kids who might need it. And we can be part of sharing God's love through our giving. That's just one way that we can follow in God's ways and share God's love with others. So I want you to think about how you can do that as we're getting into the holidays and we're going to have so much fun. I know many of us are going to do some special things with our friends and families, with our schools, with our churches. As we get ready for this really fun time, don't forget to give back and to help others just like the prophets told us to do now we are going to stand up and sing some more songs before we go
Rebecca, I'm gonna ask you all to pray with me right now. So let's put our hands together and close our eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Help us to give like you give. Thank you for our friends, our family, our church, and our schools. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining us. We post these videos every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. You can also join us in person at 10.30 a.m. I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Thank you.